Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to get down to the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. I try to make you smile. You know, my not, my page is about common sense. I try to do all the research that's possible, you know, try to help people get better relationships and, 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 and just try to put humor in your life with a spin on it, okay? This message is to all y'all uh, beautiful beings out there, specimens, creatures, ship shapers, possibilities, probabilities. I ain't never said nothing as a fact, but things can happen, you know what I'm saying? Some people hear voices and some people do not, okay? Some people are more special than others and some people are not, okay? Some people's IQs are higher and some people's are not, okay? Now, um, this video is going to be important because um, I'm going to give you the pros and cons. So this is what's, this video is going to be called Uber Facts because I really wanted to do Uber and I did tons and tons of research on it. And I found out the conclusion is as soon as you get done to the end of this video, you'll make your determination, okay? Now, the first thing is that since I had my own vehicle, I wanted to make sure that everything is legit with my vehicle. Okay, that's very important that if you have a broken down vehicle, the older your vehicle is, the more likely you're not going to get your bonuses or whatever. Uber basically um, is most likely going to analyze everything you do upon how well you take care of your car. And from the from the, from the start, the, the, the worst thing about Uber is that uh, your pay may be slashed. Okay, you know, that's the worst thing about Uber because they're not taking care of their they're independent contractors. You know what I'm saying? They making a buck, okay? They making more bucks than you, okay? Pretty much. You're doing all the hard work, okay? You're doing all the hard hassle. Your car is getting a lot of wear and tear. They don't give a fuck about that shit, okay? You know, now if an employee, if, if a customer comes into your car, there's another negative. A customer comes into your car, you know, and they mess up, then you can get a reimbursement of it. But overall, in a nutshell, you know, they don't, cover pretty much anything else wear and tear from the weather or whatever no they don't do that okay the only positive attribute of uh, uber is money you know a lot of people who signed up for it don't do a thorough enough research in order to start the uber in the first place they really don't they see the numbers but they don't understand that that adds into their own uh you know expenses for their car okay <laughs> you can't be money hungry babies i can't be money hungry like that I see a lot of YouTubers don't understand the expenses that they put on the car, the wear and tear. And and don't even fall for the, the rent-a-car thing. Don't even fall for that. The only thing I heard that what Lyft does after about 45, uh, you know, uh, you know, people, 40, 45 customers that get in your car, you can actually get a free car. Now, I, I didn't look into that. I didn't do that. I didn't look up to Lyft. I didn't look any information in Lyft. I'm just talking about Uber here, okay? I don't know if Uber does the same thing, but that's a great thing if they give you a free car. If you get up to like uh, 45 uh, riders in your car every week or something like that, that's crazy, okay? But other than that, I don't see no other benefits in it. If you're money hungry and you don't see all of the, you, you see little tidbits of bonuses and stuff, that's not enough, okay? That's not enough. They don't care about you. And, and what's going on right now these days is that Uber is, is scamming everyone. They're, actually, it's called um, you know, um, bamboozling, okay? You, then they, they find little sneaky ways to manipulate the Uber, you know, uh, subscribers, the ones who want to sign up for it, because I was going to do it. I was like, yeah, I really was going to do it. The same thing with Jesus and religion. When I was a kid, I was asking questions, and I did the research, and then boom, you know, you break free of that. But most of the time that they don't really uh, do the research, so that causes problems for themselves, and that's really a sad thing, which most people do. When I see them showing up these thousand, one thousand a week, they really don't understand that adds into the car over a, a spirit, a period of time. Okay, and they don't, you know, I've already found you know, YouTube um, Ubers who already did the calculations of the car already. You know, if you have a major breakdown or something like that, and you better not get in an accident. You better not have a, a confrontation with your, your your customers that get in your car. You better have security in your car. You better tell these individuals before you get in your car that you are this car is completely monitored. That's the best thing I see. That you you better have plastic all over your car too. <laughs> you better have motherfucking plastic with all the drunk motherfucking depressed motherfuckers out there. You know that's sad. Okay, these people be getting fights. I'm pretty sure these people got killed. And, and people still want to do this. That's a high risk. That's like a 60 to 70% risk. You're taking a 60 to 70% risk for money, people. You have to learn how to be content. Okay? Less is actually more for the spiritual intention. Okay. 
If you have more knowledge, you don't go for you don't run at the money. Okay, I see I see a lot of YouTubers, okay, Ubers, okay, Ubers on YouTube, okay, Uber workers, independent contractors, and they don't realize the consequences of their actions because they don't do enough research. That's sad. That's just sad. Don't run for the money, y'all. Now the only way I can see it is if you just you know it's, it's kind of like a jitney driver in the hood, okay. But they make money though because the fact that you know. It's kind of like Uber, but they're getting a lot of wear and tear on their car, okay? They know that, okay? You got to drive for hours. You drive for hours, man. And you don't even know the area, especially if you don't know the area. You know, the only benefits I see in Uber is, you know, if they actually change the rules, okay? They change the policies a bit and protect their people, okay? They give you their own Pacific insurance, okay? But they may, you know, they're going to try to find a way around it because they don't want to go through all the rules and regulations, you know? Um, they want to drop all that. They, they, they're a billion-dollar company, okay? And you know what billion white people do, okay, or, or Jewish people, or, or people who are a lot of money does. They try to scam the system so they can cut corners, okay, which basically that's what most people do, okay. You know, so I'm just trying to tell you right now, 60 to 70 percent of likely you're going to get scammed and bamboozled. So you look at other YouTubers and you'll see for yourself. I was going to start it from my own experiences. I was like, I, I had dreams that I was driving Uber and I got in an altercation with somebody because I told them I didn't want to talk. And then they got this fucked up star system. I'm like, yo, you know, what if I don't want to pick up the individuals? They don't give me a one star? What about the fact that I got this person in my car and he's trying to force me to talk? You know, I told him I don't want to talk again. If you want to talk to me as a counselor outside for professional, professional reasons, then do that. But right now you give me a five before you leave this car so I can give you a five so you can get this, so you can get a ride from me the next time, okay? There's no way anybody should be getting less than a fucking five, okay? Because that's what... That, that's 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 protocol you know you, you know better you know better than to have a dirty ass car i don't think nobody does such a thing okay i think that the priest when they get in the car they'll complain to bitch about anything okay if their life is fucked they're gonna fuck you over they're gonna give you one star okay and that's a terrible thing you just go down to a 4.6 or something like that that's like that's crazy and they cut you they cut you and you making that your reliable in course um i said intercourse <laughs> you see what i'm saying I have charm, baby. Don't bite my style. <laughs> I said that's your rely. That's your only reliable in income. Okay, <laughs> I'm not thinking of any course now. I have too much in my past with my fingers. I told you that, guy. Okay? <laughs> but other than that, um, and you notice my other videos are about common sense and straight to the core. Uh, there's a lot of haters I get sometimes, but it's okay though. But I get a lot of views though, and I don't think you, you can make a lot of money on YouTube unless you're really down for the money i'm not really interested in money i see a couple of youtubers making money off of you know uh, the, the millions and millions of dollars that takes a, a very long time you know but if you catch if you find out the pattern of it then you do that that whatever floats your boat money does not move me like that okay but other than that it can move a lot of people though it depends on what it is but um thank you very much for listening to my videos brothers and sisters of light and dark remember it is 60 to 70 percent bad cons with Uber, I think it goes that goes along with any kind of ride thing. You you kind of uh, jitney driving. It's called jitney driving. Professional jitney driving. <laughs> That's what it is. Jitney driving. Don't try to cover it up, Uber. I know the Uber's doing it. Okay? They're using their own riders and stuff. Because I thought about that idea a long time ago. I was like, wait a minute. Before Uber was out, Uber, Uber was out. I was like, wait a minute. What if I start my own business like that? I would probably been a billionaire. Scamming motherfuckers, especially the, the, the your employees, your independent contractors. <laughs> they stay clear from your ass. They ain't responsible if you get in an accident on the while you're on your way and the machine is not on. They're not responsible, okay? Even if the machine is on and you're on your way, you're not responsible. It's only when the passenger are, is in the car, okay? That's crazy, man. That's like, whoa. So if I'm on my way, not to, you can't even, I don't think you could turn it on while you're going there. You know, I think it's already on when you're starting to go up your, your process on your way there. But they're not responsible for you getting an accident before you pick up your your customer, okay? Isn't that some shit, okay? Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of Light and Dark. Remember what I say. Don't be all so fast about money. Do the research before you actually get into it, okay? It's, it's harder than what it sounds. If it sounds too good to be true, then basically it is too good to be true. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of Light and Dark. Peace.